Winnipeg, the capital of Manitoba and the gateway to the prairies. Come with us, we'll go on a little tour of the city. Manitoba in First Nations language means where the spirit lives. It has a population of 1.2 million people and covers 250,000 square kilometers. That's larger than Japan and twice the size of the UK. The cultural capital of the province is Winnipeg and it's home to 700,000 peggers and some of the best dance, music, art and food in the province. The province also in the north boasts some of the best hiking, canoeing and outdoor activities in the whole country. But for the epitome of adventure, head north to Churchill and you can get yourself on a polar bear adventure. See you in Manitoba. My name is Don Finkbeiner, I'm with Heartland Travel, I'm a tour guide and we are now in the Manitoba Legislative Building. Actually this, what's interesting about this building is it masquerades, it actually just masquerades as a house of government, it's really a temple in disguise and to get the true story about this temple you must come to Winnipeg to view it. This building was completed on July the 15th in 1920, the architect was Frank Worthington Simon from Liverpool, England and it, is, uh, it has been the, the seat of government since then. And at the end, of the, in the end of the tour, you actually get to feel the power of this building when you step into the center of what they call the Pool of the Black Star and you speak with the authority of the Greek god Hermes. The outside of this building shows, actually represents, there's two deities in this building. And deities, all temples are, are dedicated to gods. The first one is uh, representing Manitoba, which is the goddess of fertility. The other one is the legendary, famous golden boy, and it actually is the Greek god Hermes, or Mercury. And that's what this story is about. It's about the marriage between Winnipeg and Manitoba, between Hermes and the goddess of fertility. Incredible story. You must come to Winnipeg to see this.